So it dawned on me today how we've already won, and here's why. Everything is against the globalists, and it, this just dawned on me today. So you know how we're like the, the pawn pieces on the chessboard that they just control any which way they want? And they use division, everybody knows that by now. I think most of the world knows that. Most of the pawns of us in the world know that by now, that they like to divide and conquer. And so like Britain is in a civil war right now because they've divided the people. But don't worry about that. And here's why, because for years now, but many sides, both sides, left and right, black, white, doesn't matter what, doesn't matter. Know who the globalists are. So that's the first strike against them. So, you know, back when they did their whole stock market crashing in the 1930s, well, back then, nobody, everybody just thought it was, oh, it's this fluke phenomenon, the stock market crashed, people jumping out of windows, people's lives destroyed, and the bankers getting out the back door. But they didn't know that back then, which is the one advantage to the Internet and everybody speaking up uh, the past six, seven years. So we all know who the globalists are. Vanguard, every company under Vanguard, State Street, and BlackRock. And that it's just pretty much all of them. So we know who the globalists are. So they can't hide, for one. But you don't even need to go after them. That they, they, they will cr crumble all on their own, because this wasn't about money. They they already had plenty of money. These people, these organizations. This was simply about power and control, a power and control they already had over the people. Because if you think about it, had we not looked into this, most people, we would have never realized. Oh. They already have had us in a debt slave system, right? Yeah, because we, we thought, okay, our government is, is corrupt, you know, here and there, but not, not to the point that they have everybody in a debt slave system on an ongoing basis. So you find out through researching all this the past six, seven years that um, they already have us in uh, this, um, th their power and control they already had us in. So we're now at the point, most people, most people in the world, I believe, are at this point where, no, we not only want nothing to do with your new world, your 2030, your climate bullshit, any of your digital uh, gulag crap, but we want out of the control system you already had us in. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And, and here's where they, the biggest way they lose is because most of us will die rather than go into their 2030 agenda. Anybody who's looked into, right? I mean, I, I believe that, I mean, I've seen enough videos of people saying, no, I'd rather die. So when you, and I'm not saying that in a suicidal way, people just would rather not be on this earth and anywhere near these scumbags, let alone going into their digital 2030 crap. So when people, because the only way you control people is through fear. That's how you are able to maintain your control and your power. But once people are willing to die because they want nothing to do with you, they want nothing to do with your system, not only do they not want nothing to do with your new system, they want out of the power-hungry system you already have them under and they're willing to die for it, well, this is what happens. Yes. And when you do it on a global level, like they've done or have been trying to do, then this happens. Mm -hmm. So even though like in Great Britain, they're, they're having a, a somewhat of a civil war going on there, both sides do, there's been enough people speaking up about the globalists and who they are. So even the other side that tries to tell themselves they don't believe it, at some point in that civil war, cooler heads will prevail. And when they do, this is what will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the king, obviously, 
of representing Vanguard, BlackRock, and State Street, all the organizations and companies under all of those non-government, all of them. Mm -hmm. That's what will happen. Because most people in the world want nothing to do with the globalist system because of how sick it is. So unless you can wield fear um, over, unless you can put the fear into people, then you can't control them can't and if they were going to come to your house first of all that would be a big mistake because most Americans own a lot of firearms so but that would that would not look good for them because they already look bad to most of the world and whatever small base they do have that buys into their bullshit well then they'll just be showing that what all of us have been saying about them was right if they started coming to people's homes and forcing you into it. They don't want to force people. Look, this is all about power and control for for these globalists. Cuz they already had the money. They just wanted more power over the little people. So they have lost so bad that not only have they lost any chance of most of us going along with their 2030 agenda, their carbon climate bullshit we want nothing to do with their digital gulag crap and none of it we'll use their platforms to speak out against them yes but we want nothing to do with it and we are willing to die fighting and resisting against it so they have they have no cards they have no moves so um you cannot enslave or control people unless you can make, um, unless you can cause fear over them. And most of us are like, do whatever you want, do whatever you want. I want nothing to do with you. That's and they see that, and they see that. And and the thing is here, you may think they want to wipe all humans out. No, they don't, because they want to control humans. Uh, maybe some they want, they, 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 the whole depopulation applies, but really they want to control the little people. That's how sick and twisted the globalists are. Because they already had the money. So it's just about power and control over little people. The pawns. And this is what happens when everybody says, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of your money. I don't care what you do to me. I don't care if you torture me. I don't care if you kill me. I don't care if you take my house, my money, my job. We don't care. Because we see how sick and twisted you people are. Want nothing to do with it. Are willing to die rather than go along with it. They, have, they, they, they lose all power then to everything. See, see they weren't satisfied with the, the amount of power they already had over us with their, the, the tax debt slave system, right? But that exposed them too because we realized we were in a tax debt slave system by our very governments in the whatever country you live in, whatever Western country you live in, Britain, Ireland, whatever. So they've already lost. They have no more moves. They're surrounded. And yes, I get that there's civil wars breaking out, but they'll, they'll calm themselves down. And definitely everybody knows Calmer heads will prevail, and then this is what will happen. So you need to start seeing yourself as this, because that's what you are. The pawn has the power. All the pawns. Because the power of, will, the, of uh, the, the willingness to die rather than be controlled by these sickos is way more powerful than anything they can do. What are they going to do? Get rid of everybody and then what? They can have control over their AI robots? They don't want that. They, they like having that control over the little people. That's how sick and twisted they are. So they're exposed. People will fight and die and resist rather than go along with them. And um, no matter what they do, we're not afraid. We want out of all of their systems. We want nothing to do with them. We want far away from all of them. Which is why in the end, the pawns turn out to be the true kings in the world. <laughs>